Hello, everyone. This is Brian from Brian Tech. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you the awesome feature from GitHub called GitHub Actions Job Summary. It was a feature that was released just a few days ago. And then with this, you can now do code, do code testing, unit testing coverage, and all the metrics you want to capture, you can show in GitHub Action in one nice format called GitHub Action Job Summary. It's a really amazing feature if you're using DevOps uh, pipeline or CICD or thinking about doing, doing something interesting with the GitHub Actions. So let's go find out what it looks like. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let's get started. As you can see, this is a block that shows the job summary from GitHub Actions. The most important thing to know about this is con GitHub context variable called GitHub underscore steps underscore summary. This is a context variable where you want to output your result. And it shows different information, how can you continue using it. So it's really good to follow this blog. So here's my repository to show GitHub Action job summary. I just have one more flow there, so let's go over inside. Here it is. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So as you can see, it's pretty simple workflow. I have my name under the workflow, job action summary. And then there's a I'm using I'm going to trigger manually called work for dispatch. Here's my learner, GitHub Action Learner. And here is simple workflow that actually print out the GitHub uh, job action summary. And then there's a more complicated workflow that print out in table format. As you can see, each one go by one by line by line, and then you can all print out into a single output. Pretty nice. I'm going to click, click actions. I'm going to click job action summary. And this manual workflow, so I'm going to run it as it is. Let me refresh the page the uh, page so you can see it is appear right away so I can just see the log as how typically it is for GitHub Actions and but now let's go back and click that job action summary again tada as you can see it's a nice table format this can be expandable for things like doing your unit testing code testing result so really the sky is limit that's it I hope you like watching this video and be sure to like it. Thanks for watching again, and hope you see you next time. Bye bye.